Hey everybody, it's uh, May 20th, 2017, and this is the Chuck Baker vlog number 385, and it's a Saturday, and how the heck is everybody today? I really want to know. Uh, put a note down in the comments there. Uh, tell me what you're doing and um, how you been. And today, I have six news stories to talk with you about, so let's get started. First one here is Conrad Hilton arrested for alleged car theft in Los Angeles. Okay, Conrad Hilton, you know, part of the Hilton family. Um, I guess he just uh, decided he was going to go on a joyride. He broke up with his girlfriend, and I don't know if they were trying to get, he was trying to get to bet back together with her or what, but he ended up stealing her uh, father's Bentley, and I guess going on a joyride, and they finally caught him and arrested him, but you know, uh, she, if you're trying to get back together with somebody, you don't go stealing their daddy's car. Really, it's not just, not what you do. But then, um, I don't think everybody, anybody ever accused him of being smart. But anyway, if anything uh, develops with this story, I'll be sure and let you know. Next story here is Tesla workers are passing out on the uh, factory floor according to a report. Seems like they've got so much business at Tesla that the workers are working around the clock in the factory and they're getting so stressed and so wore out they're just passing out all over the place. There's been um, different uh, no, what's the word I'm looking for? Reports uh, of seizures and and people fainting and and all different kinds of things. You think they have enough workers there where they could give people a break? But evidently they're working like seven days a week. Uh, but uh, I don't know. I don't think I'd want to work that much now. I've had jobs where I've had to put in overtime. And uh, it's not good, <laughs> but, you know, it happens. But to work so long that you're just so wore out that you just pass out right where you're working, that's not good, really. Yeah. But if anything else uh, develops with this story, I'll be sure and let you know. Uh, next story here is Man Sues Planet Hollywood for Assault After Being Frightened by a Mannequin in His Room. Evidently, he stayed at this Planet Hollywood hotel, and they had this mannequin dressed up in a racing uniform, and it was uh, in a um, uh, display case, but it was a life-size thing. And I guess when the person got to the room... Uh, they saw this mannequin and thought it was somebody in their room and got freaked out, but I don't know. You're, go you're going to plan in Hollywood, and they've got all this memorabilia there, and I guess, uh, I don't know. I guess I, if I wasn't expecting to see a mannequin in my room, I might... <laughs> be a little startled at first, but hey, you know, I, I'd get over it. <laughs> but uh, Sue over it, I don't know. Maybe it just scared the guy really, really bad. I, I wouldn't sue over it, but yeah, that's me. And next story here is NSA reported Want to cry vulnerability to Microsoft after using it for five years? Yeah, evidently Microsoft knew about these vulner vulnerabilities, but they hadn't patched them before. But now, since this ransomware Want to Cry virus has been out and infected over 150 countries and uh, hospitals and uh, doctors' offices and everywhere. Uh, Microsoft has put more patches out, so it's recommended that if you haven't uh, gotten the latest updates for your computer, uh, that you do that to take care of these vulnerabilities. And um, there's um, some other things that you can do. Make sure that your uh, 
uh, wireless connection is secure, that uh, there are no open ports, uh, that you're running in stealth mode. Um, and uh, if anything else develops with this story, I'll be sure and let you know. Uh, next one is uh, Police say Pizza Hut Supervisor Pepper Sprays Employee After Argument. This employee was putting pepperoni on a pizza, and for some reason, the supervisor that was overseeing this person didn't like the way they were putting the pepperoni on the pizza, and an argument got started, and um, the supervisor told the person that uh, they could either go home or get fired, and the uh, um, employee said, told the supervisor that he wasn't his manager, and they went on and on, and then the supervisor ends up pepper spraying this person. Uh, and then the police were called, and the um, supervisor ran off, left, left, I guess, before the police got there. But they uh, called his house, and he answered, and he said that uh, don't bother to call back because he wouldn't be answering if they did. And they went over there, and he wasn't there. So uh, right now they're looking for him. Uh, but, you know, I think he's probably the one without the job now after pepper spraying an employee. And he also threw some pizzas and some dough around the store after he left so, uh, on his way out. So, uh, yeah, I don't think the guy was suited for that job. Maybe he had too much responsibility. I don't know. It seems like he just may have snapped. But... Uh, I'm sure they'll find him eventually. Uh, next story here, last one here is, uh, according to a hacker, patient data of 500,000 children stolen from pediatricians. Yeah, these hackers, the, the, these people that made the WannaCry virus that uh, has been putting ransomware on, on computers and and the hospitals and the doctor's offices, they just, when they find them, they need to be uh, classified as a terrorist. They need to be tried as terrorists because they're putting people's lives in danger with this kind of stuff. And to get these, these kids' information, their uh, social security numbers, um, telephone numbers, addresses, all that stuff. That's just like... <laughs> nah, it's not good. And they, they need to be... Um, when they're caught, they need to be treated like they're terrorists. That's what I think about it. What do you guys think about it? Do you think I'm right? Do you, th do you agree with me that they should be treated uh, like they're terrorists when they get caught? Um, Put a note down in the comments and let me know what you think. Um, do you, if you agree with me, tell me so. If you don't agree with me, that's good too. You know, let's get a conversation going and uh, see what happens. And um, that's all the stories I have for today, everybody. If you like my video, please give me a thumbs up. And also, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And uh, please tell your friends and family about my channel and my videos. And also, uh, check out my social media sites, G+, Facebook, and Twitter. And if you missed yesterday's vlog, just click on the image there. And uh, also, please check out my website, the Chuck Baker homepage at chuckbaker.org. Till tomorrow, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.